face and graceful tidings to the tribe. Here I have my lovely friend, Selenodyne, welcoming us to the spring. Now, where can you find Selenodyne? If you are near creeks or rivers, ponds, even low valleys, you're gonna find this Selenodyne. And this is actually considered the lesser Selenodyne. You see it has eight petals as such and this lusterful shine. When you are harvesting celadine, you wanna make sure you are far from main roads and you wanna look for pollinators. Pollinators tell you that this is a healthy environment, that the nectar is kicking in, right? And that the plants are ready for harvest. With celadine, if you see a bruised flower, you do not wanna harvest, it will produce a toxin, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm by a creek and there is plenty of cell in the dime. Okay. Now, what is cell in the dime good for? I'm glad you asked. Cell in the dime is good for swords of the mouth. And those are any kind of swords. If they're external to the mouth, right? Canker cold sores, if they're internal, ulcerated, within the jaws, you can use selenodyne. If somebody chews tobacco a lot and now they got holes in their gums, you can make use of selenodyne to remedy those ulcerated tissues of the mouth. You may also use selenodyne for any stomach, spleen, duodenum, gastrointestinal ulcers and or internal wounds if a person has internal bleeding they want to put selenodyne in that formula shout out to the wind for making his presence known you want to put selenodyne in that formula okay ulcers pals hemorrhoids within the GI tract. What is a hemorrhoid? Well, if you're straining to use the bathroom because you have so much shit in your GI tract, you're literally constipated, then you can form hemorrhoids. You're tightening your muscles so much that they actually form a knot within the GI tract. They actually turn and twist your tissues and this permanent knot is the hemorrhoid. Okay, you want to make a tea with selenodyne. Take the flowers, add them to the water, be gentle, low heat, give it 30 minutes. If you want a stronger decoction, put it in the fridge, allow it to brew overnight, take it out the next day, and pour. General recommendation is going to be eight ounces a cup, give or take, depending on what your needs are. But it's definitely the season for harvesting celadine. So get out there, visit your creeks, visit your ponds. Again, go into nature, right? Come out of those man made habitat like zones, and you'll find your healing. Peace to the tribe, graceful tidings.